How do I assess the voice of God? Joy. That's how you assess. You must live it of joy. And you must know that joy is different from happiness. If I buy a new car for you, you are happy. Or you buy a new shirt, you are happy. Happiness is different from joy. Happiness does not last. Happiness is as a result of what you see from outside. John 16 from verse 20. Most assuredly I say to you that you shall weep and lament, but the world will rejoice. And you will be sorrowful, but your sorrow will be turned into joy. A woman when she's in labor has sorrow because her hour has come. But as soon as she has given birth to the child, she no longer remember the anguish for, for the joy that a human being has been born into the world. Therefore, you now have sorrow, but I will see you again, and your heart will rejoice, and your joy no one will take from you. Meaning, joy is not brought by someone, or is not taken away by someone. What I'm going to draw to you now, in physics, they call it lever. Called lever of life. This is my theology. You learn. Now, in physics, lever is in this shape. They call here footroom, this thing. They call here load, and they call here effort. Now, if you want to lift something heavy, with this, you know, like your children jangle over. William, William, William. If you want to lift up something heavy with a lever, you put the load here and you press here down. It will help you to lift it. At this state it is, it's called balance. Now, this is Jesus in your life. He came to balance. He's, he can be in your life. He's just to balance your life. Now, this place is effort. Effort is called consciousness your consciousness, or you call it awareness, that is the effort you have to play. Then this place, anything you put here, you can decide to put joy, love, happiness. That is the load. If you are conscious too much, so much aware about this, this place will lift. Any is you that lifts any problem in your life. You are the one. If it's joy, awareness means what you keep on thinking, meditating, what you are always aware of. If your life, you are always conscious of these things to lift. What of if your life is full of pain, anger, fear? This load is you that will determine the load to put. No devil put it. You, by consciousness, by awareness, your consciousness is what press this thing down for this to rise and this place anything you like to put if you are always thinking your consciousness is always joy love happiness jesus is just there to balance your life so meaning jesus can be in your life what your consciousness is more of is anger pain fear you are doing everything through christ that strengthens you so this is called the lever of life nobody causes you pain you are too much conscious of pain Nobody calls you bitterness. It's not because you don't have money or there's money. It's not because there's no marriage or there's no marriage. It's not because of the absence of anything. It is what you are conscious of. Because it say your joy, no one will take from you. Not even situation take joy away from you. No man will take from you. Then what did he say next? He said what? Verse 23. And in that day when you have joy, you will ask me nothing. Most assuredly, I say to you, whatever you ask in my father's name, he will give you in the state of joy. Until now you have asked nothing in my name. Ask and you will receive that your joy may be full. Don't say a situation that is making me sad. The day situation is over, you will know that a, a sadness is an habit. It's a state. It's a consciousness. You've trained yourself to live in all, every day. Joy is a spirit. Joy is not what you have and what you don't have. Joy is a state of consciousness. It's not because you are rich or you are poor. It's a state of consciousness. So today, put your consciousness on what you want and it will lift. This is where you need effort. This is the load. Tell me, where have your effort be channeling you to? Unforgiveness? Bitterness, smileys, that is where you have been putting the effort. That's why your life is like hell on earth. Change the consciousness. You see, this thing is not that today you just came to church now and say, from today out, it's an exercise. You practiced it gradually. This habit of sadness, you practice it. This state you are in, you practice it every day, gradually, day by day. You are always sad, you are always worried, you are always fearful, and it became an habit. Don't think habit is only eating too much, immorality, or whatsoever you call it. Habit can be joy. Joy is an habit. To be joyful, to be sad is also an habit. You train it, you exercise it, it becomes there, automatic. So now, today, change everything. I don't know what you have put in this part of your life. Jesus will help you to lift anything. If you put poverty, Jesus will help you. Do you see the word that says, without faith, you can't please God? If you put poverty, Jesus will help you. If you are so conscious of poverty, he will help you to lift it. The power that is within you does not change your witness for you. It work with what you are conscious about. It doesn't change it. If you are like Job, Job said, Job was lifting. Job put more things here. Fear. That's what Job put here. And this lava helped it to lift it. It. That the effort of Job is consciousness. It was more of fear. Some of you, your consciousness is more of sickness. That's what everybody will be seeing in your life. Make your decision today to be joyful. Thank you.
Uh, don't see somebody always rejoicing and say, I don't blame you, there's money in your account. No, the state of consciousness. Don't see a, a couple that are genuinely loving each other and say, ah, ah, what are they doing? Is going marry a fine wife or a good husband? No. They learned it, they exercised it, and it became natural. Learn to think riches. Put your effort there. Be conscious of riches. No matter where you find yourself now, be conscious of riches. Be conscious of good health. Be conscious of righteousness. Then you will just start living righteously automatically. It's not something you have to say, from today, I don't want to be smoking again. No, no. You can't stop it like that. Just be conscious of it. Put your mind there. Become automatic in your life. May God give us understanding. In the name of Jesus Christ. Are you blessed?